Since 1923, the National Marbles Tournament has been crowning the best shooter in all the land. And it's been taking place right here in New Jersey for most of it. And for this episode of season, we're hopping in the car. We're going to Wildwood to take a look at what it's all about. And I'm going to try my hand at shooting as well. Tune on in. So we are here with Amber Ritchie. She comes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She's on the committee. Amber, you said you've been coming here pretty much your whole life. So after a couple of years away, what's it like to be back here in Wildwoods for Marvel's tournament? It is absolutely fantastic. We have been waiting. We ended up coming down here one of the years that we weren't able to come down just so that we couldn't miss it. But it is truly spectacular to have the family back. Tell us how this week works. Start us off from beginning to end. So if you were a participant here, we'd start off with a really nice banquet, introduce everybody to everyone, give you a little bit of fun stuff to enjoy the week with. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the mornings are gonna be preliminary play. You play around Robin, you play everybody three times. And then Wednesday evening, typically, we will have our top eight girls and top eight boys play for the finals that will on Thursday morning. And we are here with someone who has won this tournament before, so she's gonna tell us all about the secrets to winning. We're here with Deborah. She's from Pennsylvania, just outside of Reading. Deborah, this is uh, the 49th anniversary of you winning, yes. correct? Yes, yes, next year's Big 5-0. The Big 5-0. Tell us what you remember most about that tournament 49 years ago. Oh. And of course, winning. Of course, winning. Um, I, re I loved winning. I remember that at the end of the tournament, my face hurt from smiling, because I smiled the entire day after I won. I mean, it really hurt. And a funny story is I went to Catholic school, so all the nuns came down to watch me play, yeah. and they were in their habits on the bleachers. And the girl that I, I played in the finals and beat, she said, I had, you had God on your side. Yeah, like, how have you seen this tournament evolve and change over the years? Well, um, it, went, it was extremely, extremely popular when I first started because um, I always hate to say that, oh, there was no video games, but there was not other distractions for right. kids. There wasn't soccer every day, baseball every day. So the kids played marbles. Now there are more distractions, but we still have a huge group of kids that are interested. It's, it's a tradition. So we have some of our homegrown talent here for the Marbles Tournament. Both of these young ladies are from Wildwood and uh, they're doing us pretty proud so far here this week. Tell everybody your camera, what your names are and how old you are. Um, my name is Sarah E. Salas and I'm 12 years old. My name is Kiyoli Estrada and I'm 11 years old. What does it mean to you guys for having this nationwide tournament right here in your hometown? You don't even have to travel. You have people here from Colorado, from Tennessee. You just kind of wake up and walk out over. Um, it feels like really good because I get to compete with other players from like different um, states. I like competing with other people because you also get to meet them and how they are in marbles. Here's right. what we're going to do. I want to try how to play marbles because I think it's been a, maybe 20 years. So are you two game for showing me how to play? Yeah. Okay, so we have made it. We are now on the ring and we're gonna try our hands here. Now, we're in very good hands. We have some of the best players in the country right now telling me what to do. So, ladies, tell us how we're gonna start off playing marbles. What are we looking at? First, um, we're looking at the rack with the with marbles in it. There's 13 marbles in it. And then, like, first we pick it up. Okay. And then, like, we start, like, shooting at the marbles in, like, different angles. And the goal is to, like, get out, like, more than, like, in the tournament right now, and the goal is to get out more than like four marbles out. Oh, that was good. Is that good? Yeah, but you hunch. Yeah, you still hunch. I still hunch. I mean, you got a stick. I got two, but I hunch. I think we're going to leave it a wrap. This isn't my sport, but it is everybody else's here, and everyone's having a great time right here in Wildwood. So we're going to wrap it up for this episode of the season, bringing you to people, places, and events that make the summer go round here at the shore. We'll be back with you in July 